when it falls on the ground, this drop is enough for insects and ants, it is enough. So similarly, we are in insects and, like ants for this, this spiritual world. And for Rupa Goswami, it may be a drop, but for us, what he leaves behind for us, it is like an entire ocean. Yeah. भगवान कहते जैसे धूल कणा को जैसे नहीं गिर सकते हो कद जीव को भी संसार में ऐसे नहीं गिर सकते ऐसे इसलिए कुछ पशु पक्षी स्थावर जंगम तरह तरह लेकिन किसी सौभाग्यवान व्यक्ति को ये मानव शरीर प्राप्त होता है जिसको कृष्ण खुद कहते हैं लब्ध सुदुर्लभ रूपम वो दुर्लभ नहीं कहते वो सुदुर्लभ कहते हैं भगवान राम क्या कहते हैं और भगवान राम के देव इस भिन्न हेतु अगर कोई बोले बड़े पुण्य कर्म हमने क्या मिला मैंने बोले नहीं बोले देव इस भिन्न हेतु सनेही भगवान के थे स्नेह करके कृपा करके जैसे मानव शरीर देता है इसलिए भगवान के थे मानव शरीर बड़ा दुर्लभ है देवता को सो श्री इसने हम आपको स्पीकिंग दैट दिस फॉर्म ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ इज एक्चुअली दिस फॉर्म इज वेरी वेरी रेयर ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट देयर आर मेनी मेनी लिविंग एंटिटीज इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड वी कैन सी दैट देयर आर एक्चुअली इन्यूमरेबल वी कैन नॉट काउंट हाउ मेनी लिविंग एंटिटीज आर देयर देयर आर Millions and billions of ants and millions and billions of mosquitoes and plants, etc. So many living entities in the ocean. There are there are uncountable. We cannot count. There are so many living entities. But amongst them, this form of human life is considered to be the most fortunate. It is described that Sri Ram is describing that this human form is not rare. It is so durable. It is very very rare. And he said it is uh, not only it is rare. It is said that even the demigods they hang up for such a life. He said after performing. Uh, many many pious activities you might get a residence in uh, heavenly planets but by getting residence in this heavenly planets you still have to come down and take this uh, after finishing all your pious activities pious results you still have to come down and in staying in heavenly planets there is no such action that you will be able to get this human form of life it is only by the mercy of the lord that you get this human form of life so this is very rare human form of life kahte hain usme lekin aise kuch ho पुलिंग सबर हैं कहते हैं ब्लेचर ऐसे कुछ जीव जीव है जो जानवर जो जंगल में रहते हैं जो उनको सभ्यता अपने ना कभी भी नहीं रहते हैं ऐसे कुछ लोग जिनका घर में घर में कुछ कोई पता नहीं उसको लेकिन उसमें जो सौभाग्यवान व्यक्ति वो सभ्यता में आते हैं सभ्यता में आकर के कोई कोई विरल व्यक्ति होते जो वेद को मानते हैं लेकिन मुँह से तो वेद मानते हैं लेकिन वेद का विरुद्ध कार्य कर्म करते हैं लेकिन जो वेद मानते हैं उसमें भी बहुत लोगों का कर्म में बड़ा रुचि है लेकिन जो करोड़ों करोड़ों कर्म में कोई एक व्यक्ति ज्ञानी होता है करोड़ों करोड़ों ज्ञानी में कोई एक नारायण भक्त होता है करोड़ों करोड़ नारायण भक्त में कोई एक राम भक्त होता है करोड़ों करोड़ राम भक्त में कोई कृष्ण भक्त होता है लेकिन करोड़ों करोड़ कृष्ण भक्त में भी गुरुदेव कहते हैं उसमें भी जो ब्रजेंद्र नंदन है जो कृष्ण को उपासना करने पर बड़ी होते होते उसमें भी गुरुदेव कहते हैं उसमें भी दास्य सख्य वात्सल्य मधुर होता है उसमें जो मधुर रस में भी बड़े दुर्लभ कौन गुरुदेव कहते सखिया और पर किया लेकिन जो परिज्ञा रस में जो आने वाले हैं उनमें भी राधा रानी की पक्षपाती लेकर के राधा रानी के अनुगत में भक्ति करने वाले गुरुदेव कहते बड़े सौभाग्यवान है so is describing that how this uh, human form of life is so rare yeah this human form of life is so rare that it is even difficult to attain for the demigods and then further he is describing that uh, there are the human form of life so there are amongst the human form of life also there are some such human uh, such humans which are considered as pulin or shabar means they are like the aborigines they have no culture they have no proper understanding uh, of civilized life and amongst those who have some civilization amongst them and amongst, amongst all those who are considered themselves as civilized and who, who they amongst them also it is very rare to find somebody who believes in the vedas and so also maybe there may be so many people who may say that they have belief in the vedas but still they might it might, just might be lip service but really do they have belief in vedas to find such a person who says 
amongst millions of such people who say that, oh, we believe in the Vedas, amongst such millions of people, maybe one you will find rare who really believes in Vedas, who really follows the Vedas. And one who really follows the Vedas, amongst them also, there is only uh, very many, very many people who uh, follow the Karmakhan part, uh, part of the Vedas. They are following the Karmakhan. And amongst those who are following Karmakhan, amongst them all those who believe in Vedas, follow the Karmakhan, amongst them is a rare person who has belief in Gyan. Amongst them, millions of such people who have belief in Gyan or who are following Gyan, amongst them there is rare such person who is uh, following uh, Gyan. Um, they, they are coming to Narayan. Narayan who are coming to, uh, who come to the devotion uh, platform of Na Lord Narayan. Amongst those who are following the uh, path of Bhakti towards Narayan, amongst them rare is a person, million, amongst millions of such devotees of Narayan, rare is a person who has devotion towards Lord Ram. And amongst those millions of those people who have devotion towards Lord Ram, rare is a person who has devotion towards Sri Krishna. And amongst those who are following the uh, devotion towards Krishna, rare is a person who has devotion towards Krishna in uh, Dwark, uh, sorry, in uh, Brajendran and then Krishna. Uh, uh, most of them they follow Dwarkaras, most of them they follow Sakyaras, most of them, many of them they follow uh, Vatsalas, etc. They follow all these paths, but rarely such a person who has uh, devotion towards the Brajendran and Krishna. And those who follow the devotion of Brajendran and Krishna, rare is a person among them also who follows the Parakya Bhav. Many follow Sokya Bhav, but some follow only very rare of them follow Parakya, uh, Sokya, sorry, Parakya Bhav. And amongst those who follow Parakya Bhav also, amongst them also those who are following this uh, uh, Bhav of Manjari, rare are such people. So those who are following Manjari Bhav understand, rare, rare amongst so many millions of rare uh, devotees, such a follower of Parakya Bhav in Manjari Bhav is a very, very rare devotee. And the, the guidance of Sri Radharani. And among the this guidance of Radharani, well, a very, very rare person who is the coming the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line is a very, 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 very rare person. Bhaktivinoda Thakur Tali, very, very, this Sukhruti, some special Sukhruti. Not ordinary Sukhruti, they cannot come to line of Sri Mahaprabhu, some special Sukhruti, if we are, then you are coming to line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur Tali, if you guide any such Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you worship to Radha Krishna, and when you are Bhastu Siddhi, you know Bhastu Siddhi, when you go to back to Godhead, then what happening? Bhakti Muna Thakur Dali, your both hand is the Laddu, you know? You know what the Laddu? Your both hand is the Laddu. So Bhakti Muna Thakur Dali, then you can at the same time, you go to Mahaprabhu Dham also, you can at the same time, you go to see Radha Krishna Dham also, you know? Rupa Manjari, Rupa Goswami, Lalit, Lamanga Manjari, Sanatana Goswami, you know, they are both dham, same time they are, go to both dham. Now, Guru Dev Dali, Abhi Prashna Karte, you know, so who is the camp, the Mahaprabhu line, you are everybody, you know, you are very, very fortunate, Bhakti Muna Thakur And the previous life, you are the Sukruti, but you are Sukruti, some special Sukruti, not ordinary Sukruti, you know, you are special Sukruti, some special Sukruti, so you are camp to where? They are came to Mahaprabhu line. Can you perceive what is some special Sukruti? But how you can take birth in Australia? You know? Why do you not take birth in the India? Why? Why? Why you have took birth in Australia? Why did you not take birth in India? If you are a very, very fortunate person, they say take birth in India. So Somalia. Yeah, you know they Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur he told, you know, Vrindavan Das Thakur he told, that the Mahaprabhu was the Bhagavad Gita, Ganga Kinara, the Pabitra Dham, he was born. But the other and other bhaktas, who were not, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Jeeva Goswami, Kupal Bhattar, they were born very far away. He said that Pandava was born. Pandava means that where Pandava was not gone, he was very proud of Ganga. So why did he give him a birth? Why did he give him a birth? Why did he give him a birth? कहते वो जब जन्म लेते हैं कोई महापुरुष का भक्त तो उसको प्रभाव से कारण चुचन तक पवित्र हो जाता है कारण चुचन तक पवित्र हो जाता है इसलिए मान महाप्रभु ने इसलिए इनको ऑस्ट्रेलिया में जन्म दिया ये देश का विदेश कल्याण करना है ना इसलिए जन्म दिया सो श्री इंद्रनाथ ठाकुर इस डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट हाउ ऑल्डो महाप्रभु हिमसेल्फ 
Although he took uh, birth from back from Dirvarganga, very pure place, very uh, holy place, but all his uh, followers, Sri Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, others, all his followers, they have taken birth in far off places. They have taken to describe Sri Vindam Das Prabhu described, describing that they have taken birth as a Pandav Virya uh, place, means those places which have not been touched by the Pandavas in their time of exile. And those places are considered to be very inauspicious. So he has given birth to all his followers in far off distances, where, which are considered to be impure. Why he has given them birth there? So that those places also will be purified. Those places will be all also purified because it described that whenever a devotee of Krishna, a Vaishnava, takes birth, uh, millions of urines around that place becomes purified. So understand, Krishna, Lord has arranged this for you to take birth in Australia because this place also has to be liberated. That's why he has given birth to here, so that we will be able to liberate this place also. Okay. Australia ki devati ji ki. Right. <laughs> 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 Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Lovely. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Devotees who have taken birth in Australia, there is the birth in Mobile or not, even higher. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. 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 I तब श्रीमान महाप्रभु कहते हैं ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित कौन भगवान जी गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाए भक्ति लता बीज कहते जो दो जो लाइन है ना बहुत महत्वपूर्ण जो प्रभुपाद कहीं भी हर कथा बोलते थे प्राय कहते ये दो लाइन को महाप्रभु प्रभुपाद राधा अभिनंद बिहारी जी की जय गुरुदेव की जय प्लस गिरिराज महाराज की जय निताय गौर प्रेमानंद प्रदेश हरि हरि बो हरि बो पहले गुरुदेव प्रभु बाद ये दो लाइन को देखा करते हैं दो लाइन सब को कोशिश कर सब दो लाइन को याद करें सो ही इज स्ट्रगलिंग दैट यस दैट मानो इज स्ट्रगलिंग दैट दिस भक्ति ऑफ uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very rare. If it is so rare, so beautiful, it is very, very rare, then how can I really actually uh, attain this uh, very rare uh, bhakti? It's described that Brahman Pramiti Kaunu Bhagavan Ji, Guru Prasadipai, Guru Prasadipai, Krishna Bhakti Radha, he is describing. And these two lines are so significant that he saying that I want that everybody should learn this. Because these two lines, wherever Pujabashila Bhakti Sanskrit Goswami Prabhupada used to speak discourses on the devotional topics, he would quote these two lines and he would give elaborate meanings to these uh, two lines. And if you, if you sometimes you are telling some Harikata, only you can explain only two, these two lines, only you can explain the two lines, is the enough, you know? So these two lines, they are very, very deep meaning in these two lines, very, very deep meaning. That is Brahmanda Brahmite Kaur Bhagavan Ji. So here we are, Mahaprabhu, that is Brahmanda Brahmite Kaur Bhagavan Ji. So here we are, Mahaprabhu, that is Brahmanda Brahmite Kaur Bhagavan Ji. ये भटकते भटकते भटक करते बोले कौन भाग्यवान जी कहते ये कौन प्रभुपाद कहते भैया ये कौन ये जो सौभाग्यवान व्यक्ति कौन है अली साधारण व्यक्ति नहीं जिनको पूर्व जन्म में भक्ति उन्मुख सुकृति ने अर्जन किया है जिन्होंने भगवान और उनको भक्त की सेवा की दुनिया की सेवा नहीं जो भगवान उनको भक्त भगवान तदीय भक्तों का उनको जो सेवा की धाम की जो सेवा की तुलस परि कुमार ठाकुर का दर्शन कथा तुलस कीर्तन जो ये जो भक्ति सामंती है वस्तु जिन्होंने किया है कहते पाप का नष्ट हो जाता है पुण्य भी नष्ट हो जाता है स्वर्ग जाकर के लेकिन जो भक्ति उन्मुख सुकृति है कभी नष्ट नहीं होता केवल ये जन्म जन्मांतर में केवल एकट 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 होता है कहते ये जो दुर्लभ व्यक्ति है तो भगवत इच्छा से उन्होंने साधु दर्शन होता है सो द फर्स्ट लाइन सेस ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित है कौन भाग्यवान जी कौन मींस हु इज दैट रेयर पर्सन 
<clears throat> Sochilat, Bhakti San, Sarathi Goswami Prabhupada is describing that what does this word mean, this con means who is that rare person? He's describing that rare person is one person who in his past life he has performed Bhakti Unmukh Sukriti. He uh, performed Bhakti, he has collected Bhakti Unmukh Sukriti to such level that now he has come to this path and is having the darshan, he has had the darshan of a Vaishnava and now he, he is able to establish himself firmly on the path of Bhakti. Who is this person in from past life? What has he done? In the past life, he said, he has uh, stayed in the dham, he has, he has performed Tulasi Parikrama, he has already chanted the holy names and he has performed all the different limbs of Bhakti and because of following the limbs of Bhakti in his past life, he, this has collected as Bhakti Unmuk Sukriti and because of this, he has come to the path of Bhakti and now he is had the darshan of the pure Vaishnava. Yeah, they are telling Guru Krishna Prasad Pai Bhakti Lata Bhi. कहते उनको जो सदगुरु को पास में उसका जो दर्शन होता है कैसे बोले भैया गुरुदेव तो हमें मंत्र दिया है लेकिन यहाँ पर कृष्ण नाम आते हैं गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद अरे वो कृष्ण यहाँ बीच में क्या करते तो प्रभुपाद कहते हैं हम अपने आप हम अपने आप सदगुरु को भजा नहीं सकते अपने आप सदगुरु हम नहीं भजा सकते इसलिए सदगुरु तक हमें पहुँचाएगा कौन बोले कृष्ण ही पहुँचाते कहते हनुमान जैसे व्यक्ति वो स्वयं भ्रमित हो गए जब गंधवार जब विशल करने लेने के लिए जा रहा था रावण ने ताल में भी भेज दिया उसको बीच में जाने नहीं देना ताल ने भी साधु बन कर डाल दिया बीच में बोले रघुपति राव घबराज अरे भैया घूम भाई कहाँ से बीच में इसलिए मैंने वहाँ उतरे बोले रात को तुम विश्राम करो कल सवेरे जाना बोले नहीं जल्दी जाना बोले प्रभु राम की इच्छा को और कुछ नहीं होता है सब करने करने वाले भगवान राम बोले भाई सारे सिद्धांत बात हो जाता है अरे ये भी बता दिया वो लक्ष्मण और शक्ति से अलग होगा ना एक बैठते हैं तेरे को भेजा तो लीता सब कुछ जानता है तो पक्का साथी है तो सब कुछ सारे बात सही बता रहा है सिद्धांत की बात बता रहे हैं इसलिए उनको भी भ्रमित कर दिया लेकिन जब उन्होंने मगर मच्छी पकड़ा मगर मच्छी ने तब उन्होंने बताया वो काल नहीं बीच में वो साधु नहीं साधु रूप में काल नहीं बैठ गया ये तुम्हारी रास्ता के बाधक है फिर उन्होंने मारे इसलिए कहते भैया हनुमान जैसे व्यक्ति को दिखा रहे वो भी गुरु साधु को विषय में कभी भ्रमित हो जाए और हम लोग जो भी कौन कौन सा खेती में बुद्धि है जो कि हम प्रवित नहीं हो जाए इसलिए ये कृष्ण ही इसका व्यवस्था करते हैं। So the second line says गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद है बाय भक्ति लता भी means you get the seal of भक्ति by the mercy of गुरु and कृष्ण। So one may say that we have attained the seal of भक्ति or in the form of the हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र that our गुरु देव has given us it has been attained uh, to uh, attained by us through our Gurudev. And where, why does the word is used Krishna here? Uh, he is saying that we do not have the power to go to a pure devotee. It is Krishna who by the circumstances around, around us, by the inspiration from the heart, he has taken us to the path of our uh, Gurudev. And that's why by his inspiration we have gone to uh, meet a bona fide Gurudev. Otherwise, we don't have the capacity to recognize a proper Guru. What to speak about us, uh, weak, uh, poor, uh, uh, poor in mind, poor in heart, uh, uh, spiritual uh, living entities, even a devotee as exalted as Hanumanji, he can get bewildered. One time it is, we know this past time that how, one time when Hanumanji uh, is going, traveling from Sri Lanka to Hanuman because he is the only uh, person fit to go and return within one night from south, so far south from Sri Lanka up to the Himalayas and back within one night because the, a herb was needed uh, to cure the uh, arrow that has been shot, uh, Shakti cell and they have, they have, both of them have lost consciousness. So now he has been sent a uh, 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 Ayurvedic doctor, he has sent Hanumanji that go and such and such herb is available in the Himalayas, go and search this herb out and come back within the night, before the night finishes. So he has to go and return with this herb within the night. But as he is going, Ravan uh, uh, plans that this should, we should, if we create an obstruction on his way, that if he is not able to come back by morning, then Ram and Ashwin both will die and I will be victorious. So with this aim, he sends uh, um, Karnemi uh, Rakshas. And Devan. Uh, he is a demon and he sends him on the way and he now he dresses him up as a uh, uh, sadhu. And now, when as he's flying through the air, Raghupati Raja Raja Ram, like this, he's singing and chanting Lord Ram's names. And along the path, 
exactly on the path where Hanuman is flying from Atma God, and Hanuman is attracted because wherever Lord Ram's name will be chanted, he will immediately become attracted. And he's thinking, oh, my God brother is there. And he comes down to see who is this. And he says that there is a saintly person sitting down and chanting Lord Ram's name in ecstasy. He's posing as if he's chanting in ecstasy and he's chanting. And when the moment Kalmini sees this, the a person dressed as Sami, this Kalmini, he sees Hanuman, he asks him that, oh, uh, are you Hanuman? He immediately tells his name that, are you Hanuman? Have you been sent by the Vaidya, the doctor, uh, that the arrow has been hit Ram and Lakshman and that's why you're going to travel, you're traveling to Himalayas to get this certain, this and this certain help? The moment he said this, he immediately developed faith in this person that, yes, he is my God brother and he is having, he's having all knowledge about me. Actually, he knows everything, why I'm going, where I'm going. And he said that, Oh, yes, I am going. I have to go quickly and I have to return back in the night. He said, no, no, there is no need to rush. You can rest here and after some time you can go and you will still be able to reach in time. He said, how will I be able to reach in time? I have traveled so far distance. He said, no, no, no. I will tell you a short way. By shortcut you will come back very quick. And uh, he is wanting to delay him so that he will not be able to reach in time. And uh, it is, he is also Hanumanji, also although such an exalted devotee, but he also got bewildered. It was just that he had to take bath in a pond nearby. And when he had to take bath in the pond nearby, there was a crocodile which caught him by foot and uh, Hanumanji killed him, then he manifested his original form, this crocodile, and he told him that actually who you are thinking to be the devotee of Lord Ram, actually he is nobody, but actually he is the Kal Nemi, the demon. And when he, up till now he was speaking big, big things that, oh, Lord Ram can arrange everything, Lord Ram is everything, he's all powerful, he had never faith, but the moment he hears this, then he goes and kills Kal Nemi. So if a person as exalted as Hanuman can get, get bewildered, of course, for what to speak about us living entity, we will obviously, we will never be able to reach a one of my Gurudev. It is only by the mercy of Gurudev, who, uh, sorry, by the mercy of Krishna, that we are inspired through the heart, through the circumstances, that we are able to reach the proper path, a proper one of my Guru. Okay, so you are everybody very, very fortunate person, you know. Very, 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 very fortunate. Why? You are coming in proper line, Vaishnava line, and you are starting to be your Gurudev. Somebody, you know, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj disciple, somebody in the Srila Gauravinda Maharaj disciple, and somebody in the Bhaktivedanta Srila Narayana Goswami Maharaj disciple. Why? Herself Radharani, you know, when going Parikama in Vrindavan Dham, that time herself Radharani, she gave dream to Pujari of this Seva Kundavad. Oh, Narayana Maharaj here. Oh, he is the Mayuan Sakhi, he can go and eat this prasad, he can give to her, you know. So the Pujari herself he came and told this thing, oh Radharani, send to me you. And Radharani herself, she told, you are one Sakhi of Sri Radha Rani. So Radharani herself, you know, she sent. So you are very, very, you are very, very fortunate. You are coming to this perfect line and you are the pure Sadhguru. Blessed Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Chilla Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Blessed Chilla Gauru Govinda Maharaj Ki Jai. Chilla Prabhupada Ki Jai. Vitai Gaur Pramanande Hari 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 Bo. Abhi yahan par bata rahe hain kar agar hamari aise saubhagya ho, ha? Agar hamari aise saubhagya ho, bolke aise saubhagya. अगर ऐसे कोई महाभारत में तो साधु हो इसलिए यहाँ पर श्री जी गोस्वामी हम भक्ति संदर्भ में व्याख्या करते हैं कि भगवान की कि तीन तरह का भक्त है कि एक तो निर्धुत दशा है और एक है मूर्छित दशा है और एक है पार्षद देह प्राप्त है कि तीन तरह का भक्त होते हैं तीन तरह का भक्त है इसलिए निर्धुत दशा है मतलब जिसकी पूरा अनर्थ खत्म हो गया है और जो मूर्छित दशा है मतलब होता है जिनका अनर्थ तो है लेकिन अभी वो छुपा हुआ है अभी वो अनर्थ छुपा हुआ है कहते पार्षद देह प्राप्त कहते जो कहता मुक्त महापुरुष है जैसे श्री नारद जी हाँ वाल्मीकि जैसे दस रत्ना का उपवास एक बार राम का नाम दे दिया उससे कल्याण हो गया ब्याज को देखे ब्याज को देखते ही उन्होंने कृपा कर दिया उनके ऊपर ब्याज जैसे व्यक्ति कैसे परिवर्तन हो गया किसको पर ऐसे हाथ रख ले सारे शक्ति उनमें संचार हो जाती है ऐसे जो भक्त है बड़े भाग्य और अंत जीवों को इस सब चीज प्राप्त होता है इसलिए गुरुदेव कहते हैं अगर ऐसे नहीं मिले अगर हमें अगर सही वैष्णव परंपरा अगर हमें सही मिल गया जब जिस लाइन में 
हम आए हैं अगर शुद्ध वैसा लाइन अगर मिली है ना वो भी बहुत कल्याणदायी है क्योंकि आपको पता भारत में कितने सारे उल्टा पुलटा अपने संप्रदाय के लाभ कितने कितने साधु से वो जेल में बैठे थे बड़े बड़े साधु इनका नाम भगवान भगवान बोलते सारे भगवान अभी जेल में बैठे सारे भगवान सारे भगवान जेल में जेल में इसलिए अगर कोई शुद्ध लाइन में अगर कोई भी आ गया ना उसका भी धीरे धीरे कल्याण हो जाएगा क्यों वो सही लाइन में खड़ा Shila Jeeva Goswami Bhatt, he is describing in Bhakti Sandarbha, he is describing that there are three kinds of devotees. He is describing Nirdhat Kasai, Murshid Kasai and uh, Bhagavad Pasha uh, Pasha Deva. He is describing that Nirdhat Kasai is one who has performed uh, devotional activities and he has got rid of all the Arathas. There are no Arathas in him. Murshid Kasai is one person who has uh, Anarthas but they are like in dormant stage. It can now the situation is not there. That's why these anathas do not manifest themselves. If such a certain situation arises, <clears throat> then these uh, anathas can manifest themselves again. Hmm? And also there are uh, Bhagavad Pasha Deha Prapt. He's saying Bhagavad Pasha Deha Prapt are those who are completely liberated, like Narad Muni. Like Narad Muni, he's so powerful that he preaches to even uh, as fallen a person within few seconds, as fallen a person as the hunter, and he is immediately purified. He is immediately uh, converted. Or he, if he puts his hand on somebody, immediately all uh, knowledge, all uh, devotion manifests in such a person's heart. So this is the, uh, the power of a uh, totally liberated person. If this is the best kind of uh, guru one can have, but suppose you do not have association of such a guru, somehow if you reach the proper parampara, that also is very, very beneficial. Why? Because you have reached this line of parampara, which is pure, and you will get, get benefit of all the acharyas that have come in this uh, parampara, and you will get uh, the benefit of this entire parampara, all the acharyas of this parampara. Okay, that's it. That's why Yamra is saying, that Guru Krishna Prasad Bhai Bhakti Lata Bheej. That Guru and Krishna Kripa Sahib ko Bhakti Rupi Lata Rupi usko Bheej Prapto Ho Thaay. उसको बीज प्राप्त होता तब यहाँ पर गुरुदेव प्रश्न करते हैं देश का मतलब क्या चीज का हृदय में कुछ नहीं नहीं जीव स्वरूप है कृष्ण नित्य दास जिनका जो स्वरूप है वो भगवान के नित्य दास ही ये जीव है उसके अंदर में प्रटिन स्वरूप में कुछ है उसके अंदर में जैसे गुरुदेव उदा जो सीप है, है उसके अंदर में प्रटिन से है लेकिन जो स्वाधि नक्षत्र का पानी पड़ता है फिर वो हो जाता है मुक्ता बन जाती है हाथी के सर पर पड़े तो गजर मुक्ता बन जाती है कर अगर ये केले का पेड़ को पर कर्पूर हो जाता है अगर मृगना भी कस्तूरी वहाँ पर पड़े तो मृगना भी कस्तूरी बन जाती है उसका अंदर में हैं इसलिए कहते तो उसी तरह जीव के अंदर में तो प्रोटीन सी है, है लेकिन जब गुरु वैष्णव को कृपा होती है अजय भगवत कृपा होती है संतों का जो साधुओं का कृपा होती है ना अरे धीरे 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 उसका भाव धीरे 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 अरे धीरे 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 भगवत भक्ति जगत में धीरे धीरे बढ़ता है लेकिन ऑलरेडी उसके अंदर में so we are hearing now that Guru Krishna Prasad Pai Bhakti Lata Bij means he get the seed of the creeper of Bhakti by his by the mercy of Guru or and Krishna. So one may a uh, question here, Guru Dev is describing here that one may question here that you get the seed of the creeper of Bhakti by the mercy of Guru and Krishna. So it means that there is nothing in the heart of the Jiva. Has it been given by uh, Gurudev that uh, that moment in the moment when he is giving you initiation? Is that is that the meaning of this? He is saying no. Jiva Swarup hai Krishna and Nityadas means the et uh, eternal constitutional position of the <coughs> entity is that he is the eternal servant of Krishna. Just like he is describing that a drop of water when it falls on a, a shell in proper time in Swati Nakshatra time, the uh, time of Swati constellation. That time it falls in a proper time in the proper place. It falls on this, and it, in this on this oyster, it turns to a pearl. When this similar, the same uh, waterfall uh, drop of rain it falls on the forehead of the elephant, then it turns to gajmuka, the elephant pearl. And when it falls on the leaf of a banana in proper time, then this uh, turns into camphor. And uh, here, uh, and it falls down on the uh, belly of the musk deer. It turns to musk. So the potency is already, already there. Gurudev, by his uh, initiation, by his instructions, he blossoms the seed that is in there. This uh, potency, it is, resides as potency. Uh, the saru of the living entity in this 
spiritual constant position resides as the potency of the heart. It cannot manifest without the mercy and instructions of the Gurudev. When he gives this mercy, when he gives instruction, this potency it begins to blossom and gradually the spirituality of the living entity becomes blossomed and it manifests more and more. Uh, Gurudev here tells us a good thing. ਕਿਹਦੇ <laughs> लेकिन अगर ज्ञानी का समझ लिया मान ये ये पानी जो पानी है ये नमकीन पानी है फिर तो फिर मरी जाएगी मान अगर कर्म का अगर पानी और कर्म का समझ मिल जाएगा फिर क्या होगा उसी तरफ भी चली जाएगी हां लेकिन अगर जोगी का पानी पर कोई लेकिन अगर कोई भक्त का अगर पानी मिल लेगा तो भक्त का पानी भक्त मतलब कोई शुद्ध भक्त अगर कोई ब्रजवासी भक्त महापुरुष का भक्त अगर वो मिले तो मतलब उसे पानी तो मीठा है ही है लेकिन इस रिजर्व में श्री और रुजाम जात पर डाल दो फिर और भी मीठा हो जाती इसका मतलब है अगर कोई ऐसे अगर भक्त मिले जो महाप्रभु की लाइन में आने वाले जो भक्त अगर मिले तो वास फिर तो ये लता बढ़ते बढ़ते साधारण जगह नहीं ये तो सीधा चली जाएगी पूरा महापुरुष धाम पर चली जाएगी तथा सो गुरुदेव इज गिविंग अ वेरी नाइस एग्जांपल अबाउट दिस ही इज सेइंग ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट the water in itself may be salty or the water may be just pure itself so now if you suppose you are going to water uh, a plant and if you water the sea water on this plant what will happen this sea water will kill the plant uh, but if this is okay now it is purified water it is plain water but this is sweet in itself the pure water of uh, from the tap it is sweet in itself but suppose you add some sugar to it suppose you add some syrup to it now you add lemon to it now you add camphor to it huh? like like you add little salt to it now the more you ingredients you add it becomes more and more material and now it is this simple water now it is doesn't remain water in water it becomes nectar similarly when you, what kind of association you are taking you will manifest your behavior like that uh, if you are taking the association of gani understand the association of gani is like the sea water the salty sea water you can totally kill your spirituality or if you take the association of the karmi or the yogi this is what what this is what will happen you will go on that path but suppose by your good fortune you have come into the association of uh, the devotees of mahaprabhu this is like the sweet water like the camphor nectarian water and it will uh, when you are nourished by this water the spirituality manifests and uh, to the fullest and you will attain the highest हां बोलो ध्यान दो भैया ये गोइंग टू सी टू पर डायरेक्ट गो टू गोलो महाप्रभु धाम यू नो महापुण्य टू गोलो फिर गए सेम टाइम द टू ब्रांचेस गोइंग वन गोइंग टू गोलो वृंदावन एंड वन गोइंग टू सतीदी नगोदी धाम ये देन टू कान कहते यहीं पर बैठी बैठी करके बिना छिलका और गुटली का बस यहीं पर बैठी बैठी करके रस आस्वाद ले करते हैं एंड देन विदाउट दिस फ्रूट इज सच इट डजंट हैव एनी सीड इट डजंट हैव एनी स्किन it is this is a uh, mango or this is a fruit which is pure nectar nothing to be rejected drink all of this sitting here you will cross over to golokrindavan and simultaneously to golokrindavan and shwetu dev okay ha dekho isliye lekin kehte gurudev to hriday mein ye to beej bo diya lekin abhi humne ki garden mein rahe lekin abhi hame pani dena padega theek theek se tabhi to lata jayegi na agar pani nahi to upar lata jayegi na wo to wahi par khatam ho jayegi इसलिए हमें पानी देनी चाहिए पानी क्या है साधु संघ है वैष्णव संघ है हरि कथा है भक्तों का एसोसिएशन है ये ई ये पानी है इसलिए देखो गुरुदेव कृपा से यहाँ पर भगवान कृपा से एक मंदिर बन गया भगवान कृपा से इसलिए आप सबको बोलो कोशिश करो यहाँ आने के लिए सबके सब गुरुदेव जो शिष्य लोग आए हैं वो सब अच्छे अच्छे है सब अच्छे अच्छे से सुन लिख के पढ़े भक्ति जगत में लेकिन कोशिश कर धीरे धीरे यहाँ आने के लिए और कोशिश कर खुद भी ये फल को खाओ रस को दूसरों को भी चखाओ और दूसरों को भी इसी भक्ति राजी में लाए सो इज डिस्टर्बिंग दैट 
now that Gurudev has sown this seed of uh, the creeper of bhakti in our heart, so what do we have to do to this creeper? We have to water it. Without watering, any creeper will dry. Uh, what is this water that we have to uh, give to this creeper, the seed of this creeper? We have to give the water of association of the sadhus, of the Vaishnavas, of the Harikatha and Kirtan, devotional activities. If you are nourishing this Harikatha and sadhus and etc., this creeper will blossom and keep on uh, growing and growing higher and higher. He saying, by the mercy of our Gurudev, Gurudev has arranged this such beautiful temple here in Murvilamba. All of you should come here, all of you should gather here, all of you should gather here, hear Harikatha, perform Kirtan. And then you will see that this creeper that will have sown in the in your heart, it will blossom for the five more and more. Okay, and uh, you know when Gurudev he gave to us this mala, you know, when he gave this mala, Gurudev did not give this mala. He Gurudev gave to Krishna, you know. He Gurudev himself telling, he gave to Krishna. This is not mala is not different to Krishna. So Gurudev telling me, one day you don't chant this mala. What is this meaning? That meaning is the whole day Krishna, you know, did not take a shower, he did not take, eat any prasad, he did not change this cloth, meaning whole day he stayed hungry. If one day you don't chant this mala. So you try, must, you know, Gurudev tell him, never eat you hungry this mala. Hungry meaning, you don't chant, meaning say whole day this mala stayed hungry. Yeah? So never keep this hungry. The diet of the Harinam that Gurudev have given us is the chanting the rounds that we chant on the Harinam. So he's saying if we don't chant on that day, one day, then understand that the Harinam, the, our mala is hungry. So maybe, maybe there will come time when we are very busy. So better to don't eat any food that day, but definitely devote some time to chanting the rounds that day. Kendi Goswami Tulasidhar Ji kehte hai Bhagavan ki bhajan ke bhagar Kitne paisa hap tum kamal hoge Jisko baas mein sonne ki lanka thi Amar baas mein kitna Do kilo, panch kilo, das kilo hoga Tumhi ki sab pura pura sonne ki lanka Hi lanka jen ki thai Ar hum sohste ke si sundar stri si saadhi karne Sukhi ho jayegi Mando dari, mando dari matlab kya hai Mando matlab patli udar matlab kamar Us samay mein o bish wash Inuhar se uthi Vishwa karma ki beti जितने गांधर भी जितने सुंदर सुंदर पकड़ पकड़ साथ उसने शादी किया जहाँ जहाँ देखा मतलब बेटे होने पर सुख हो जाएगी मेघनाथ जी से बेटा आज ना प्रताप भी पिता के लिए बलिदान दे दी सुखी नहीं हुआ क्यों भगवान का भजन नहीं करता था सो सो ही डिस्ट्रैक्ट दैट हाउ नाउ गुरुदेव हैज गिवन दिस माना नाउ वी आर अंडरस्टैंड He's saying, why do we have to do this? Uh, if we do not do this, what will happen? He's saying, aim of any activity that we are performing is peace in our lives, life, happiness in our life. He's saying, some people think that, oh, if I will have so much money, if I have so much gold, then I will become happy. How much gold can you earn in your lifetime if you earn, if you earn, if you earn, all life you work hard, how much gold can you have? Maybe at the end of your life, maybe you will have a kg of gold, maybe two kgs of gold, Maybe four, maybe ten kilos of gold. But there was one person, Raman, whose entire city was made up of gold. Did he become happy? His entire Lanka was burnt to ashes. And somebody may think that, oh, if I get married to the most beautiful girl in the world, then I will become happy. His wife, who was his wife? His wife was Mandodari. Mandodari means slim and uh, Udar means the waist. The one who was slim waisted means she was really Miss Universe, not the Miss Universe title of today, that she is uh, just Miss uh, he is the, maybe one of the most beautiful girls on this planet. She was really Miss Universe, one of the most beautiful girls in the entire universe. Who was she? She was the daughter of Vishwakarma. And not only one Miss Universe, he had all the beautiful princess uh, queens that they were there on the planet that time. Forcefully he kidnapped them and got, he got married to them. And uh, somebody may say that, oh, if I have a very nice, obedient, very handsome, very beautiful, strong son, then I will become happy. And he, whom did he have a son? Megna. Megna, who was ready to sacrifice his own life on the words of his father, such an obedient and such a strong, such a such a warrior as his son, but he also could not become happy. Kutsi is saying that if somebody says in this world that he will become happy in this material world without bhakti, he saying it is impossible, impossible, impossible. <coughs> <coughs> 
हनुमान ने क्या किया लंका में आग लगा दिया बोले भैया जो सोने में कोई आग लगती है बल्कि सोने में आग लगे तो अधिक ज्यादा निखरती है लेकिन हम सुनते हैं हनुमान सोने में आग लगा दिया लंका में कैसे उसे क्या देते हैं हनुमान जी को अनुशंकर तो श्रृंगार करता सोने में कभी आग नहीं लग सकती है लेकिन वो लगा दिया मतलब क्या है बोले भैया भले ही तुम्हारे राज्य सोने में जैसे क्यों नहीं हो अगर प्रभु का भजन नहीं करोगे ना शंकर जी कहते मैं संहार करता पूरा आग लगा दूंगा लेकिन एक व्यक्ति का घर छोड़ दिया बीवी सुना का क्यों प्रभु राम की शरण में था सिखा देते मेरे प्रभु की शरण में जो रहेगा वही बचा लेगा मैं तो सबके सब जला कर राग बना so we hear every time we hear that oh hanuman ji burnt the lanka which was made up of gold he burnt to ashes one question that arises is that has anybody had this experience in their life that the gold is burning never you would see that the gold is burning if you eat it it might melt but we never see that the gold is burning but shankar ji uh, sorry hanuman ji what did he do he burnt the entire lanka made up of gold to ashes how could he do this who is hanuman ji hanuman ji is the incarnation of shankar and shankar ji shankar ji is tasked is to destroy means he destroys anybody who is not following the path of bhakti he says i don't need such a such a city maybe made up of gold burnt to ashes so by the will of shankar ji this even gold burnt to ashes only the entire lanka was burnt all the houses all the palaces in the lanka were burnt but one house was left intact the house of vishnu why because he was the devotee of lord ram because he was the devotee of lord ram by this past time Anuman is showing, Lord Ram is showing that everything will come to an end, everything will turn to ashes, but only that person, that uh, situation will be saved. Where that who that person will be saved, who has taken the shelter of Lord Ram. Okay, so every day you try chanting some fix Ram. Okay, and also you try every day put tilla. You don't delay about this tilla. One minute tilla, no. One time one student. Without tilak, tilak he came to Mahaprabhu class. Then Mahaprabhu kick out them. You cannot see this class. Why? You have not tilak, you know. So tilak is the not ordinary thing. Tilak is the very very auspicious. So Bhagavan has been telling, Sudha Bhakta Acharya Renu Bhajana Anukula. This is the pure devotee. Put that up. This is the pure devotee. When put this tilak, Narottam Das has been telling very quickly. You are hard coming to bhakti. And you are put twelve places. Now there are twelve not places. There are twelve places in the twelve places in the twelve places. Lord resigning our body, you know. Every day mother Jasoda put tilak to Krishna. So look Krishna tilak, Ram tilak, Narayan tilak, Hanuman tilak, Shiva tilak. Everybody put tilak, you know. So tilak is the very very glory. You can listen in one uh, thing how the glory of tilak. That is what you see the some Puran describing. That is what any person. कोई भगवान के मंदिर को स्थापन करता है ठाकुर जी के मंदिर और उनके लिए भोग राह की व्यवस्था करता है बोले पहले के 21 पीढ़ी और आगे के 21 पुरुष को भगवत धाम प्राप्त करते हैं जो आगे पीछे ठाकुर को सेवा की स्थापन करते हैं एक मंदिर अगर कोई स्थापन कर दे इतना महत्व है कभी तिलक क्या है बोले भरी मंदिर ये तिलक भरी मंदिर तिलक है इसलिए अगर हम लोग कभी जो एक तिलक लगा रहे हैं वो एक तिलक नहीं तुमने एक भगवान के मंदिर को स्थापन किया और शरीर में कितना तिलक लगाते हैं बारह तिलक लगाते हैं मतलब दिन में हम लोग बार और बार मंदिर को स्थापन कर रहे हैं तो समझो तुम्हारी कितनी पुण्य हो रही है इन वन ऑफ द पुराण इट इज डिस्क्राइब दैट हाउ इफ वन एस्टैब्लिशेस अ टेंपल ऑफ वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड देन 21 जनरेशंस बिहाइंड एंड 21 जनरेशंस इन द फ्यूचर आर लिबरेटेड 21 ठीक है बोला 21 जनरेशंस बिहाइंड एंड 21 जनरेशंस इन द फ्यूचर आर लिबरेटेड because he has established a temple of worship of the lord so he's saying that when we are putting this tilak what is this tilak he's saying tilak is a temple of the lord and you are what you are doing you are not putting one tilak you are putting in 12 places you are putting tilak in 12 places so understand that every day you are establishing 12 12 temples of the lord so understand what kind of benefit you are going to get yeah so so is the very very you know very very auspicious in the fourth this तिलक लेकर तिलक लगा लेकिन तिलक लगा लेकिन उसको हल्का लेकर लगा 
And suppose somebody may say that, oh, I'm working, I have to go to the office, and people may stare at me, like, what kind of uh, person is he, what is he having on his forehead or his uh, nose bridge? So he's saying that what you can do is, you can, if you have to go to uh, work outside, meet with uh, the other people and all, you can put very, very mild filler. You can put it very light, but definitely you should put filler. It should be there, very mild, that if you have put the filler, maybe it is not very clearly visible. Okay. Uh... Hari uh, Bol, Hari Krishna. Uh, every day you are try chanting face around. So, Urbha Goswami is telling, if you want to do bhajan, how you can do bhajan? You stay in Vrindavan, then you can do bhajan. Well, if everybody go to Vrindavan, but where come you from this dollar? Without dollar, how can you go to Vrindavan and stay? So, Urbha Goswami is telling, if you are badly, then the Sadri Sagar is a certain month in Vrindavan. So like Prabhu Goswami is saying that if bodily you cannot remain in uh, the Vrindavan Dham, then by mind you should reside in Vrindavan Dham. Yeah, so how possible staying in mind? But when you, you know, Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami, Prabhupada tell you, tell you this is not a Gaudiya Mat, this is not a Gaudiya Mat. You know, I am, this is Radharani Nikunja, in a temple of Radharani Nikunja, I am manifested here. And my all householder, householder, devotee, this house is not a house, this is the Radharani Nikunja, temple of Radharani Nikunja. But how this, when this how our house became Nikunja Mandir, then became Nikunja Mandir, when you are performing this bhakti, time, many times wake up timely and put the love to the arati, you know, Mangala Sri Guru Gaura Mangala Murati, you know. This is Golova Vrindavan, Allah Sakhi Manjari, they are doing Arati Krishna. If your house you are doing this kirtan, meaning your house is the Radha and Nikunja Mandir. So every day try to you know, do Tulasi Parikrama. And when you do Tulasi Parikrama, or you also try singing this song Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavana Sri Govinda Gopinatha Madana Then if you do one kirtan, that Jaya Adhi Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan, your mind what can be thinking about Vrindavan? Kalindi, Yamuna Jaya, Radha Kunda, Syam Kunda, you know, one kirtan, Narutam Dastra Kunda, such a kirtan, if you sing one kirtan, then completely, you know, your mind thinking all regimental, place of this month, but not regimental. And Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaya Vaya Nama, if you do this kirtan, then you can remember all the Mahapuru pastime, all the Mahapuru devotee are pastime, Place. So every day you try, many times wake up, you know, give some time. Not like this, oh, one or two o'clock movie, looking this all night at the movie and sleep and wake up at nine, ten o'clock. Anyhow, take shower and then eat and go to office. No. Kate Jivan me, ham joku chuka the suk santi kili kate. Santi suk jo isse me mile, iske li kyun nahi kare? जीवन में जो कुछ करते शांति सुख के लिए शांति सुख तो भक्ति में मिलेगा तो इसके लिए क्यों नहीं करते जो शांति सुख नहीं उसके लिए जो इतना समय दे सकते हैं तो भक्ति के लिए क्यों नहीं करते सो ऑल दी हैंकरिंग्स और ऑल दी एफर्ट्स दैट वी आर हैविंग इन दिस लाइफ व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर एक्चुअली हैंकरिंग फॉर पीस एंड हैप्पीनेस वी सेइंग एंड हैप्पीनेस इज इन भक्ति सो इफ हैप्पीनेस इज इन भक्ति देन व्हाई शुड नॉट वी स्पेंड सम टाइम व्हाई शुड नॉट वी पुट सम एफर्ट्स इनटू परफॉर्मिंग सम लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति एवरी डे ओके सो एवरी डे यू ट्राई Many times wake up and every day give jai, jai Sri Sri Guru Ranga, Gandhari Vika, give Dhari Radha, Guna Gubi, Hari Gubi Jai. Then you can give jai to all Guru Parampara, then your mind is coming, remembering the all Guru Parampara, your mind is remembering. Okay, and many times doing some kirtan and get try to many times, if you go in car, you know, in car, if no time, listening to Hari Katha, like so Guru Dev, some Hari Katha, Guru Dev, Sri Kauru Govinda Maharaj, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he can put the, your, you know, your car, when you're going, you know, on, your then you can listen to Harikatha, then what happening? Listen to Harikatha meaning you get the sleeper water. Then the sleeper is actually going to Vrindavan. Without the sleeper stuck there, you know, sleeper stuck there. Okay, okay, now you can little listening to Giriraj Katha, okay? Balagiraj Maharaj Ki Loudly, you know, when somebody gave Jai, what is the meaning? When they give Jai, they say, Oh, 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 they say
जो जितने जोर से जय देता है उनका उतना पाप वगैरह उतना उतर जय होता है संसार में Are you are speaking jay to all these spiritual uh, masters, all these uh, exalted personalities. So what does it mean that we are speaking that? Oh, may you be glorious. They are already glorious. They if they don't need our uh, our certificate that they become glorious. When we are speaking jay loudly, when we are glorifying them, actually as loud as we speak, that many sins will be cut. Abhiraj Maharaj ki jay. Thank you. कहते हो कहते हो कहते हो गिरिराज गोवर्धन है कहते हमारी संप्रदाय में इसकी बड़ी महत्व है हमारे जितने गुरु परंपरा हुए सबके सब गिरिराज की सनातन गोस्वामी रोज परिक्रमा करते थे रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी कहते थे निकट निवास गोवर्धन तो आप जब उद्धव जी ब्रज में गए ब्रज राधा रानी के प्रेम पत्र का बल मिलेगा कैसे अरे गिरिराज के बगर नहीं मिले वो घास बन के तपस्या कर रहे नारद जी नारद कुंड में जब शंकर जी से अष्टकाली मिला उन्होंने सुना बोले किसकी कृपा से मिले गिरिराज कृपा से मिलेगी इसलिए गिरिराज कृपा के बगैर कुछ भी मिले उन्हें उनकी कृपा से हम सब कुछ मिले सो गिरिराज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन अवर संप्रदाय इट इज डिस्क्राइब दैट ऑल ओवर आचार्यस हैव परफॉर्म देयर भजन एट द कुटिल्स ऑफ गिरिराज एंड ही इज आल्सो डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट हाउ सिला सनातन गोस्वामी का ही कंसीडर्ड इट टू बी सो सिग्निफिकेंट दैट इवन इन द एडवांस एज He used to perform parikram of Girira. Raghunath Das Goswami is praying in his prayers that, oh, please give me residence at the foothills of uh, your uh, at your foothills. Uh, and uh, and uh, Udha and Udha ji, Udha ji also uh, <laughs> when he huh? when he came to Braj, when he came to Braj, then he developed this desire that, oh, I also want Braj bhakti. But when he looked around, then he understood that. Bread bhakti will not be attained by any of my efforts. I have to get the mercy of Giriya Govardhan. Then he also took the took birth as grass on uh, the footprints of Giriya Govardhan, asking uh, the mercy. And Narayani also, he is also there. And Shankarji also, when he is also wanting to enter the Braj Lila, he also wants to take me. He is begging the mercy of Giriya. So Giriya is very very significant, very important in our sampradaya. And our Gurudev Bhakti Vedas Narayan Goswami Maharaj, you know. Our our Girdhari Gauri Mart, he doing there very severe austerity there. Every day he doing parikram, every day he chanting two two lakh rina, every day he study all the Swami Gurudev there, you know. People now our Girdhari Gauri Mart, so Gurudev also mercy of Giriraj Govardhan, he also preach the whole world. But the Vedanta Swami Maharaj he also you know he doing parikram stay there doing very severe austerity. So mercy of Giriraj, you know, can get everything. So it's very very important to our uh, Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu. Is it like that Giriraj Govardhan ko Haridasa Barje bataya? Haridas ni sir, the first Haridas hai. Is it Haridas ni? Who nahi? That is Sri Dujeshri Maharaj. Haridas Bar ko Sri Gudhav ji aur Haridas Barje se Giriraj Govardhan. Sabse bade bata hai. Lekin Gurudev kehte hain, ek sarup mein to koi Giriraj Govardhan nahi. एक तरफ में गिर रानी भी है एक स्वरूप में राधारण की सखी है क्योंकि अगर नहीं होता तो कृष्ण महाराज कैसे किए उसका प्रमोद मदन लीला कंदर कंदर पूज्य पूज्य लीला कैसे उन्होंने की है इसलिए एक तरफ में राधा रानी को सखी भी है so giriraj is a very significant for us giriraj is a very important for us he is describing that how gurudev gives us prabhu Uh, he is describing that how Gurudev has performed his uh, bhajan there, and uh, he is describing that. Ah, isn't it that the Haridas? Ah, yeah. Haridas. He he is uh, he is describing that uh, Giriraj is considered as Haridas Varya, the topmost of the uh, servants of Haridas. Yudhishthir Maharaj is known as Haridas. Udhavi is known as Haridas Varya, means he good, better, best. So he is the Haridas Varya, the topmost of Haridas. That is considered to be. the uh, giriraj govardhan and although he is considered to be non different from krishna but gurudev is describing that all he is also to considered to be as the das of uh, the lord and uh, gurudev is describing that he is also to be considered as the dasi or the sakhi of radharani why because krishna and radharani in each kunja in the caves in the kunja of giriraj they have performed such amorous and such uh, confidential pastimes they could not have performed all these confidential pastimes in front of any male they performed this confidential pastimes because in one form giriraj is also a sakhi of radha ah kad the gurudev tell you why you come store kad the gurudev tell you to reason why you come store na kad the wo patthar gim bane gurudev ka do karan kad the pehla karan ye krishna jab leela kiye hain 
भगवान की चरण स्पर्श होते ही प्रेम का जो आठ क्वालिटी है सूर्य कंप अश्रु फुल्लभ वैवर्ण उसमें एक है स्तंभ स्तंभ हो जाना एकदम स्तंभित हो जाना स्तंभित होकर के वो भगवान की चरण स्पर्श से उन्होंने स्तंभित होकर के पत्थर बन गया दूसरा कारण गुरुदेव कहते हैं अगर मैं डायरेक्ट रूप में रहूंगा ना वो जो प्रमद मदन लीला जो पूज्य लीला करेंगे राधा कृष्ण जो मिलेंगे किसको सामने जैसे कैसे मिल सकते हैं इसलिए जैसे किसी बाथरूम हो पत्थर जैसे हम जैसे जैसे जो कुछ करते हैं उसको कपड़ा पहनना जो कुछ कर सकते क्यों जानते पत्थर है इसलिए वो पत्थर बन गए भगवान सुंदर सुंदर लीला करें so he gurudev is describing that uh, how he is <coughs> how he is uh, why does he manifest himself as a stone why is he manifested as stone is giri raj gurudev uh, gurudev is describing two reasons that he is manifested as stone he is saying there are eight ecstatic, eight ecstatic symptoms which manifest at the time of ecstasy on may feel in association of the lord now he has got the association of the Lotus feet of the Lord. He has got the touch of the lotus feet of the Lord. So one of the uh, ecstatic symptoms is stun. Stun means you become stunned or you become like a statue, stand still. So getting the ecstatic touch of the lotus feet of the Lord, the Lord himself has become like a stone. And another confidential reason is that <coughs> another confidential reason is that Radha and Krishna have performed their very amorous, very very confidential pastimes in all the kunjas and caves of Gilira Gorvan. Now, if you have to take bath, or if you are, uh, if you have to take bath, you can take bath very care, carefully, in a very carefully manner. In a, a, a bathroom, you can take bath. Why? Because you know that you are surrounded by walls, you are surrounded by stones. So similarly, Giriraj knew that they are going to perform very confidential pastimes. If you have manifested as a person in front of Radha and Krishna, then they would not have been able to perform their very, very confidential pastimes. So he manifested himself as stone, as caves, etc. So that any pastime that they have to perform. महाराज की हरे कृष्णा कहते कृष्णा वाई क्या किसी गिरिराज को वर्धन सो विश्वनाथ ठाकुर बिहाइंड कृष्णा की क्या किसी गिरिराज को वर्धन परमानंद प्रभु क्या स्पीक समझते परमात्मा हाय कृष्णा क्या किसी गिरिराज को वर्धन So Vishwanath Chakra Thakur is behind Italy and five religions. You can tell what you know. Five Krishna's name. Yeah, Giriraj Gopal. Yeah, Giriraj Gopal. Yeah, Giriraj Gopal. Yeah, Giriraj Gopal. You take this mic. and uh, he then shows his power and dexterity and his beauty as a dancer 
and his beautiful form is fully fully revealed to those British blessings who are waiting on the side of the gentleman. And of course the gopis headed by Radharani, they see Krishna's uh, beautiful pastime and quality and power and they become attracted and they, from that point they want to be sure that they want Krishna to be their beloved. And the other incident is when uh, Sri Krishna is able to hold Giraj Govind in a loft. He holds that Giraj uh, in order to protect the Rajabhasis and to stop the flooding of uh, Vrindavan after the Rajabhasis have surrendered to his instruction and performed the worship of Giraj and uh, accepted the ire of, uh, created the ire of Indra and Indra therefore punished them. So Krishna holds that uh, to show his, his prowess and his supreme power and his supreme independence, this is the opportunity he uses to hold the uh, Govardhan aloft. And then the Brajabhasis and particularly Radharani is able to have a very intimate uh, meeting because they're very close under the hill. So very, very, very hard for them to meet uh, in this social setting of the time. But uh, this is a place where, because of the urgency of the situation, uh, the normal social norms are relaxed a little bit so the gopis can come very close to Krishna and they can see eye to eye and Radharani can uh, uh, glance at Krishna very, very nicely and, and Krishna's looking at her. And uh, she's actually giving the power to Krishna because she's his she's, she's Shakti Nan, she's a Shakti. And uh, Radharani is looking at Giraj and saying, Don't you dare fall on my beloved Krishna. You have to stay floating. So it was so easy for Krishna to hold the hill above his head with his little finger, his left hand, because actually Giraj is floating above because he wanted to provide the, the facility where Radha and Krishna could meet. So that, that, this Purva Rag is, is giving the foundation then for their, for their very intimate meetings later on. When they actually come and perform Rasleela and have so many pastimes. But um, uh, yes, Giraj is very important, and uh, I pray that Giraj will win a day for bliss and to give us service at the Lotus Feet of the Divine Couple after the Mark of Krishna. Hola Giraj Maharaj Ki! Hola Giraj Govardhan Ki! Okay, so the first thing is Krishna is a very important thing, but the inner core is a very important thing. So, the inner core is a very important thing. लेकिन उन्होंने लेकिन कृष्णा ने क्या किया उसको भी पूजा बंद करवा दी मतलब कृष्णा सीखा देते ही अगर किसके पास में झोली पहनना जो उपास ना करना एक अनिष्ट वक्त होनी चाहिए बहुत निष्ठ होने पर भगवान की कृपा नहीं होता इसलिए सार देवता का राजा इंद्र का भी उन्होंने पूजा बंद करवा दिया मतलब प्रार्थना करा तो गिरिराज गोवर्धन कौन वो कृष्ण है मतलब एक पैंट कृष्ण भक्ति के लिए वो सीखा देते हैं इसलिए सर्वधर्मान परित्यज माम एकम so by this pastime of this, yes, is, by this pastime of this, actually he is giving us a lesson of Sarv Dharma Karita Jai Maharaj. And he is saying that who is Indra? Indra is uh, nobody else but the king of all the demigods. So if he is king of all the demigods and then everybody goes to worship him and this is, he is saying it is not proper that you have bhavnish means you have different worship levels for different people and different desires. We are saying the devotees should be one pointed. So he has established this worship of Giriraj. Why? Because Giriraj is not different from Krishna. So those who are devotees of Krishna, they worship only Krishna. And uh, by worshiping only Krishna, you become one -ished. Yeah, this is the one reason. The second reason is that this is Indra's great abhiman. If I am the king of the Raja, if I am the king of the Raja, then I will die. गया कहाँ क्या टाइम बढ़ जाए इसलिए कृष्ण ने सोचा देखो ये क्या बोल रहे हैं जिनकी चरण धुले में सोए लेता हूँ नंदा बाबा के कड़ाव लेता हूँ मैया मेरे कान मोल देती हैं शासन करती हैं जिनकी चरण में प्रेम की भीख मांगता हूँ ये कहता है ये मेरे ये मेरे सब सेवक है और इनका प्रभु इसलिए उनका अंदर जो अभिमान था वो अभिमान को भगवान कृष्ण दूर करना चाह रहे थे Krishna lifted up his gear out over the nest. He is trying to break the pride that Indra had developed. Indra had developed this pride. He is thinking that if these Brajavasis, I will not shower the rains, these Brajavasis and the, the cows that they have, their livelihood, their cows, they will not get water and they will suffer. And he is thinking that he, I want to teach them a lesson because Krishna has stopped the worship of Indra. And now Indra is now wanting to teach them a lesson and he is becoming proud that without proud that I, they will not survive without me. So Krishna does not like this pride he, uh, in Indra. Why? Because he's thinking first I am given in this position. Second, he is thinking that all these Brajabhasis, who are they? They are no ordinary people. He, they are the ones whom I, uh, Nath Baba, he, I take his uh, puttas, I lift up his uh, uh, shoes and I, I 
give, yeah, give them give them honor and I hold behold on my forehead and uh, I beg them for prayer and I'm uh, I beg them for affection etc and these are not ordinary people and he's thinking he has developed so much pride that those who are worshipful for me he's thinking that he will if he will not shower rains on them then they will suffer so he wants to teach Indra a lesson that is why he broke this uh, pride of Indra by Egyptian of this Giriraj. अभी कृष्ण राधा ने से जो मिलना चाहता था बड़ा कठिन से पता नहीं कहां धूती भेज करके क्या करके बड़े कठिन से नहीं मिलते हैं अगर मिलने वाला अगर कोई जटला गुल्ला आ गया और भाग जाते हैं इसलिए गोपियों के साथ में मिलना भी कृष्ण बड़ा कठिन हो रहा है इसलिए कृष्ण से चाह रही है इनके साथ में चाहता हूं मिलूं कैसे मिलने का उपाय क्या भले अगर इंद्रवारी बरसाए अगर गिरिराज उठाएंगे फिर तो उनको बातें हो करके सामने आना पड़ेगा उनको इसलिए वो सामने आएंगे जिनके साथ में मिलना इतना कठिन है बस आसानी से ही इनके साथ में मिलना हो जाएगा इसलिए जब राधा रानी सामने आई ना कृष्ण राधा रानी को दर्शन करते ही कृष्ण का तो भगवान नहीं है कृष्ण का हाथ स्थिर नहीं हो पा रहा था गिरिराज इस गिर जाएंगे इतने में सखा गए कृष्ण क्या कर रहे हो किधर देख रहे तू गिरिराज धारण कर तेरे नीचे सबके सबके ना लगता है तू गिरिराज को कह दो राधा रानी सामने आ गई राधा रानी को दर्शन करते हुए इसलिए कहते कभी कहते कभी माथ माथ धरने का बल बढ़ो कभी गोप बने कभी सहाय और राधा रानी की कृपा से दिन बद उठा राधा रानी जो तेरे सुन जैसे देखो खबरदार अगर नीचे आओगे ना जला कर राह पे कर दूंगा इसलिए कहते राधा रानी की कृपा से गिर जा रहे था यार द थर्ड रीजन ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग इज दैट अप टिल नाउ द एनी मीटिंग दैट राधा एंड कृष्णा एंड द गोपीज हैव हैड विद कृष्णा इट इज विद लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी एंड फॉर एंड सो फॉर फ्यू सेकंड्स दैट दे कुड मीट और इफ दे आर मीटिंग देन जट लाइक टू टू कम और समबडी एल्स कम and they have to go there separate ways so krishna is thinking all this time that i am not able to meet them i am not able to have uh, association with them so he is lifted up this goal then he knows that when indra will shower the rain then i will lift the girira goal then as an umbrella and all the brahmas basis will be forced to come under the shelter of girira goal and that time for 7 days and 7 nights i will have unhindered association of the gopis and radha so now gopis and radha rani they have come under the shelter of vidya gordan <coughs> and krishna is very ecstatic very happy at seeing radha rani approach there radha rani there and when he is uh, seeing radha rani he becomes so ecstatic that he begins to tremble a little and in this trembling looks like as if the vidya gordan is shaking and that time uh, it might crush it might fall uh, and it might crush all the prajapatis and that time he suffers so that What are you doing? Be careful. Where are you looking? Where is your attention? Pay attention. Lift it up properly. So like this, they are just having him. So there is a bhajan in uh, Braj, which is describing that some is the power of butter by which he is lifting up this govardhan. Some is the help of the sakhas who are helping him with their sticks, etc., to keep this uh, govardhan aloft. And some is the mercy of Radha Rani. Why? Because the mercy of Radha Rani. Radha Rani is looking at uh, the Govardhan with a sidelong glance, and is saying, "If you dare to fall down, I will burn you to ashes." So, because of this sidelong glance of Radha Rani, the Giriraj is keeping itself aloft. It is keeping itself floating like a balloon in the air. बोले Giriraj Maharaj की हाँ कहते हैं थार कहते हैं फोर्थ रीजन क्या है अभी कृष्ण सोच रहे हैं ब्रजवास ये बोलो कि ब्रजवास तो अपना कृष्ण का अभी उनसे बुलाता रहे हैं और राधा रानी के काये हुए गोपियां कृष्ण का प्रकाश सब सखा सखियां सब की सखा है इसलिए कृष्ण सोच रहे हैं भैया मैं चाहता हूं ये ब्रजवास में प्राण स्वरूप है मैं इनको साथ में सात सात दिन चाहता हूं एक साथ में रह करके इनको साथ में उत्सव करे अब इनको साथ में एक साथ कैसे रह करके उत्सव कर सकता हूं और जब गिर रहा उठाऊंगा सबके सब नीचे आएंगे आएंगे तो उनको साथ में बात आनंद से सात दिन तक उत्सव करेंगे इसलिए जिस समय इंद्र सात दिन बाद में एक दूत को भेजा देख कर गया तो एक दूत ऊपर ऊपर देख कर गया बोले क्या बोले एक चिट्ठी तो भी नहीं सब खत्म एक और एक बोले तू देख कर क्या उसको नीचे जा कर देखा भैया तो चिट्ठी तो कोई मरेगी वहां तो उत्सव हो रहा है होली मच रहा है कीर्तन आनंद वहां पर तो उत्सव हो रहा था सबके साथ और कृष्ण का मुख चंद्र को दर्शन करते हुए कहते ना अगर किसी व्यक्ति को बोलो एक घंटा खड़े हो जाओ दो घंटा खड़े हो जाओ उस बात खड़े हो जाएगा नहीं है एक व्यक्ति साथ साथ तो उनको पता है कि चला कारण क्या है कृष्ण का मुख कमल को दर्शन करते हुए इतने आनंद इतने आनंद आ रहा था सात दिन कैसे बीत गया उत्सव में जैसे गोपियों को ब्रह्मा का एक रात कैसे गया पता नहीं चला उनको भी कृष्ण का मुख कमल दर्शन करते हुए पता नहीं उनको पता नहीं चला सात सात दिन कैसे बीत गया
इसलिए कृष्णा सोच रहे हैं उनके साथ में साथ में जो उत्सव है। So he is describing uh, the fourth reason. The fourth reason that Shri Ramakrishna is talking is describing that why did he lift up his Gita Gordan? Krishna is thinking that who are these Prajapasis? They are actually his expansions and who is uh, who are the Gopis? Gopis are the kind who are not different from Radharani and all the Prajapasis in one way or the other they are the expansions of Krishna. So he is thinking I want to collect all of them in one place and I want to perform a festival with them in Braj. But that is not possible to collect them in one place. He is saying but if I will lift the Giriraj Govardhan and will create such a situation that they will be forced to come under the Giriraj and they will perform a festival there. So they are having underneath, they are having a festival. Under this Giriraj they are having a grand festival and they are all for seven days and nights. There it is described that how Indra sent one messenger to see all these torrential rains, what havoc have they, have they caused. So one messenger came and he came from a distance, he saw that oh, everything is finished, only water. And he said, only water is visible. He went back to Indra and he said that everything is finished, not even one ant remains alive. Then he, Indra became very happy. And then he sent another messenger. He said, go and find out exactly what has happened. And now this uh, messenger came a little closer and he went below the mountain. Then what did he see? That he, and he comes back, he says, not that one ant has, uh, not even one ant is alive. He's saying, not even one ant is being harmed. He's saying they are having a grand festival and there is a lot of dust in the air when they are having this festival of singing and dancing. Dust in the air means it is totally dry, everything is dry. There is the, what, the torrential rains that you have sent has not created any effect. And he's saying one way question that to, if you st tell to somebody that go and stand there for, you know, you give punishment to your children, go and stand there for one hour, you, one hour they will not stand. For five minutes after five minutes they are saying you are tired. And if an adult has to stand for one hour, very difficult to stand for one hour, two hours in the same place, very, very difficult. But for seven days and seven nights, they spend there under the Girira. How did they spend it? Maharaj is describing that it is very easy because all this time that Krishna was standing, his lotus face effulgent, all these Brajavasis were looking at his face and Krishna was looking at the faces of all the gopis, of all the Brajavasis. And like this, this seven days and seven nights passed like in a moment. And when they had to leave, actually it is described in Bhagavad Shambhu, when they had to leave this place, they are regretting that this time passed so quickly they don't want to leave. Like this, it means the time is spent because the festivities and happiness, the time is passed very quickly. Yeah, so that another reason is this time Pranath Maharaj also mentioned this reason that why did he perform this pastime of lifting of the Guru and Gajar Govardhan describing that just like a hero may want to attract some uh, lady then he may perform some heroic acts <clears throat> he may drive the car very fast at 200 km per hour or he may jump down a paraglide or something he wants to attract somebody so he, similarly Krishna actually has performed two such heroic acts one when he danced on the hoods of Kaliya and second this Giriraj Govardhan when he lifted it up. It is described when he lifted this Giriraj Govardhan he was seven years old and he lifted this Giriraj which is uh, seven course in length and seven course in height and he lifted it up for seven days and seven nights. And how did he lift it up? He did not even use his full palm. He just used the edge of his nail of the littlest finger of, of the left hand. The littlest finger of the left hand means Usually your right hand is strongest and the left hand is uh, the weaker hand. And on the little finger of the left hand means it is nothing for me. So on the uh, nail, uh, the edge of the nail, he is lifted his Girira Govardhan and all the gopis when they are watching that he is lifting this such a big Girira Govardhan in such a uh, carefree manner so easily. So they are very attracted by his strength. So that was his aim and it is mentioned that 
What is the name of this uh, Guriraj? The name of Guriraj is Go Vardhan. Go, uh, Go means the senses, Vardhan means to nourish. So by nourishing uh, this pastime, by this uh, uh, rich pastime, actually he has attracted all the senses of all the gopis towards Krishna. And Krishna then he took Rasalila. And Krishna took much village like Rasalila. So Krishna now he think how can perform this Rasalila without Braj Gopi. So only when Krishna carried this Giriraj over there, then all Braj Gopi so much attracted to Krishna. Now he made plot for him. So Giriraj over there helped him. Doing this tough most fast time to Sri he helped this Giriraj Govardhan. So, Mala Giriraj Maharaj Ki! Loudly more. Mala Giriraj Maharaj Ki! 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 इसी में ही आकर के बादल टच करते हैं बारिश होती है यही से घास फल फूल जो कुछ हम यहीं से मिलता है इसलिए हमारा ब्रज का जो देवता है साक्षात गिरिराज गोवर्धन इंद्र पूजा करने का जगह होता नहीं सब में सब गिरिराज गोवर्धन पूजा करेंगे कृष्ण अगर इसको बुद्धि परिवर्तन करना चाहते सब राजी हो गए और कई से ब्रजवासियों ने बड़े धूमधाम से गिरिराज की परिक्रमा की और गिरिराज की परिक्रमा uh, so we know this pastime of Giriraj that how Krishna has established this Giriraj as the worshipable for all the Brajavasis. He is saying that there is no need to uh, worship other demigods, anybody else. We have to worship only Giriraj because he is the source of all nutrition, all our livelihood. It is he, it is Giriraj who stops the clouds and by the clouds that are stopped by Giriraj, it, they shower rains and by the rains the grass grows and then the cows eat this grass and we are able to nourish and maintain our families. So he's saying that uh, like this he is uh, and after that they, uh, all the Brajvasis they gather together, they perform Giriraj uh, Puja, they perform Parikana of Giriraj, you know about all these pastimes. Plates, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can, can go, everybody bring this plate. Can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the And the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring the plates and you can go down and bring but actually, although it is said that you can fulfill all desires, but we should try to pray only for Bhakti from the Maharaj Ki Okay, you are going to go free.
मैं तो क्या कर रहा हूँ मेरा अभी छः बने अभी घर जाके अभी घर में पैक कर लिया मैंने अपना बैग कर दिया रख दिया तो मैंने वो किया था मैंने 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 अभी मैंने वो वजन किया था छः किलो था छः किलो कुछ था मेरा तो अगर आप मुझे कपड़े कपड़े में तो उतना होते नहीं जितने हो दे दो थोड़े बहुत और एक्स्ट्रा होने के लिए मैं बोल दूंगा दूसरे बैग में रख लिया बोलूँगा मेरा खाने का था कीर्तन Will I turn the uh, Maharaj? Will I turn it on?
Oh, oh, oh.